Oh, the Atari does look good, doesn't it? See, I worry he's like pulling like this. He's going to pull it towards him because he wants to see what he's doing. Holy poo. Oh my gosh, did you guys just see that? Oh, be careful, baby. Look what he's doing. He did that all by himself. It's time to fix lunch. He is up from his first nap. He slept pretty good, pretty well. I'm trying to remember that I'm gonna be teaching someone to speak English very soon, and I should use the correct word. So yes, we're from Texas, and he slept good. And he's fixing to have lunch. And he used to have lunch later. <laughs> but actually, he is done with his nap. Or can he be done? He's finished with his nap nap is over. He is about to have lunch or he will have lunch soon. And previously he had lunch earlier. This English grammar le lesson brought to you by the five colleges that I attended over the course of my education. Enjoy! Free to you, the viewer. <sighs> Whatever. I'm still Texan, so when I was little we lived in Mesquite and um, I used to say we were from Mesquite. My mom said, you're not from Mesquite, you're from Mesquite. And maybe if you're not from here, they both sound country the way that I say them, Mes Mesquite or Mesquite. But we grew up in a place um, that's in the Metroplex in Dallas, but is kind of not as metropolitan, I guess. And so, um, I don't know, I guess the people that I knew at school talked more, um, not country, but kind of. And... Um, I could have ended up sounding a lot like that. I could have sounded like I, I was from Mesquite and a little bit more um, homegrown. But um, not that everyone there sounds that way. Don't get me wrong. Everything's a stereotype, you know. That's just happened to be the way the people in my neighborhood spoke. And um, anyway, it's not how I speak now. So, but I bet I do sound country to all of you. Especially, I know I say um, I'm going to store for some milk instead of for some milk. So you might hear me say fur, um, and I know that sounds country, but I can't help it. I say it, um, and then I do say I used to, um, like I used to go there to that school, even though used is something you say, like I used all the glue, but we say in Texas, we say, I used to go there, <laughs> and I know I say fixin', I'm fixin' too. Um, and it means you're about to do something. So if you hear us say those things, it's actually hardly considered country in this area of the country. But I know that it sounds that way to other people. So when I say I don't have an accent, it's because here I hardly sound like I hardly sound like I have one. Um, anyway, if you hear me say some other words, I would love to know what I'm saying that sounds weird. So leave a comment and um, yeah, I just I just like knowing. So. And leave a comment about what people do where you're from, too. Say where you're from, and then what people say that's kind of weird, um, but normal there, you know? I ordered his clothes for his 18 to 24 month from this company online called Crazy8. Um, it's at crazy8, like the number 8.com. And they're adorable clothes. I have been looking for really cute clothes for him that were kind of different looking and they had a great selection in his size and so affordable that I could actually get enough stuff that I don't do laundry every three or four days. They grow out of clothes so fast. It doesn't make sense to have tons of clothes in every size because you'd break the bank for sure. But um, in fact, on his shoes, I'm probably going to do go to the um, kid like kids to kids resale type place because I just cannot stand paying $34, $30 to $40 for a pair of shoes they're going to wear like two months or less. And so I think we may go do that because when we went before we got pregnant, before we got pregnant, sorry, before he was born, we went and they, um, we looked at the stuff they had just to see if it was something we would be interested in doing because generally we don't like used stuff. Just, I know that's really nitpicky. It's horrible of me to say that, but on clothing and stuff like that, it's hard for us to do just because you just don't know what somebody did in it. Like their dog peed on the shoes or what? I don't know. Or their kid peed on the shoes. That's actually more likely. Some of the shoes are like brand spanking new, have tags on them. See, he's doing it. He's like getting up, but then he falls. You're so cute. What are you doing on mom's knee? 
Anyway, so we we'll probably will do shoes like that. Um, just look and see what they've got. They had like some stride rights that hadn't even been used. They had a bunch of stuff like that, so we'll probably go do that. Um, but I think I'll wait until he's a little bit older. But anyway, in the Crazy 8 stuff, what I was saying is they, um, they had, I got him some swim stuff. And I got him some 4th of July outfits. So I'm going to do a Crazy 8 haul because I got tons of stuff and it's adorable and you have to see it. And, um, so look forward to that. I'll probably buy all our clothes there now because it's just, they're so cute. It's ridiculous. Baby, you can't play Atari. No, you're too little. Wow, this is like first gen. I'm ready for this. I'm ready. I was born ready for this. Daddy put it in my DNA. Let me play with the games. Let me play, play, play. Let me play with the games. Daddy said I could. Daddy said I could. Mommy loves you. What are you doing? We're going over the mommy mountain. We're going over the mommy mountain. Whoa, oh, it, oh my goodness, you're almost there. You can do it, buddy. You can do it. You can climb if you want to. You can climb your mommy's leg. Oh my gosh, you so scare me sometimes with this whole... You're so mobile now. Whoa! That scared mommy. Are you cool? <coughs> Copacetic friend? What's happening? Mickey's there. You're good? Okay, good. <sighs> Baby's crawling. Makes mom nervous. Jesse said this morning, we're getting him a helmet. I'm like, we're not putting a helmet on our kid to crawl around the house. Nobody does that unless they need, like, head shaping. Or they're going to ride a bike or something. Or a four-wheeler. What's the word, turkey? He's a talkie fella. I don't know where he gets it from. What do you want to do today? We can't go pick up Mommy's glasses today. They're open tomorrow. They're not open today. Oh my gosh, you guys. It came. It came, it came so fast. I thought it wasn't going to be here for a while because they are on vacation on the Etsy shop. But I got Declan's first birthday outfit. Mickey Mouse themed, of course. But look, y'all. It's a, it's a onesie, right? And it has the suspenders sewn on. And then it has a tie. And the tie flips up and it says one. And then the shorts are like super comfy. And they have like this iron-on fuzzy Mickey. So cute. And I got it because I thought it's going to be hot weather in July. His birthday is uh, in on July 23rd. And I wanted him to be comfortable, but I wanted him to be adorable because he's so cute and he likes Mickey. Anyway, this is the lady that did it for me on Etsy. I don't know if you can see her card. just want to give her a shout out because... Um, it came so fast, and it's really nice quality. She did a great job, and I really appreciate it when people give you good customer service. You know what I'm talking about. So, check her out. You're going to be so cute, Muffin. You want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk here this morning in the home room? There you go. I think he does. Find your bag. There it is. Okay, let me, let me get my water and... Uh, some shoes on. We'll go. We're out for a walk, aren't we, baby? Eat something else, Bob. We're out for a walk. I love it. Walks are the best. Anyway. I love me some baby boy. He is a great kiddo. You know, you never know before you have kids what you're going to end up with. <laughs> and, um, because I've heard a lot of people say, like, oh, their kids are really hyper, or their kids are so well behaved. And I kept telling myself, oh gosh, it's has to do with parents. I know it does. And I think it does and it does, but it's personality of the kid too. So I'm thrilled that he has such a sweet personality. Anyway, um, got me to thinking that, um, I don't know, I'm always thinking about like what his life would be like without me in it. And so I love doing the vlogs because I feel like I'm going to be able to share who I am as his mom, no matter what the future holds for us, and he'll always be able to look at the vlogs and know his mommy loved him, and he's the reason that I vlog. I mean, I love sharing our lives because I think life is kind of complex and dynamic, and it's interesting to see other people's lives, and so I'm glad you guys get to see the way that we live, and I want to know how you guys live, but it's so much more than that. 
we, uh, I'm not going to go into detail about it because I feel like there are things that happen to us in our lives and I want to share those things with you, but the things that happen to other people that are tragic or personal are not for me to share, but suffice to say that we did lose someone um, in our family this past weekend and I didn't vlog about it because it's not appropriate. Um, to go into detail, but we, we are going to go to a funeral later in the week, and if Jesse and I, or anyone else that is on the vlog, seems kind of introspective or deep this week, it's really because those things, kind of things in your life always make you feel more thoughtful about your own life and your own kids and what the future may hold for you and help you to be more appreciative of your blessings and your family. And so I just wanted to encourage everybody that today may have been poop or it may have been great. But whatever it was, it's what you got. And so put whatever's happened today behind you because it doesn't matter anymore. Or put whatever's happened in your life behind you, it doesn't matter anymore. And move forward and do something amazing with what you have left. And if your attempt, you feel like, isn't that awesome, then put that behind you and start again and keep going like that until you can go to sleep at the end of the day and think, today was good, today was better than yesterday. Don't blame other people for what you've got going on in your life because this is your, your deal. No one can make you feel something that you don't want to feel. Butterfly just attacked me. No one can ruin your day without your permission. No. It's taking captive your thoughts and your emotions and deciding to be whatever it is you're wanting to be that day or the, in your life. So if you're wanting to be a positive person or a healthier person or a better role model or to leave a, a legacy for your kids they can be proud of, then own it and go forward with it. It doesn't matter what you did in your past. He's all ready for bed, folks. Aren't you, buddy? He's playing with daddy's boxes. We're just trying to um, kind of kill some time before daddy gets home. He had to stay um, at an appointment, so he is, um, you know, on his way. Sure is. But I am concerned that he may not make it back in time for, like, real bedtime. I have to, like, kind of stretch it just a little bit if he wants to see him, which could be scary with crying and stuff, so pray for us. Um, but anyway, he's having fun now, so that's all good. What are you doing, Baba? Who's that handsome boy? Who's that handsome boy right there? He says, um, I don't know. Will he let me into the boxes? You gonna sit up again? You gonna crawl? Pick your belly up? Hmm. Oh, the Atari does look good, doesn't it? See, I worry he's like pulling like this. He's going to pull it towards him because he wants to see what he's doing. Holy poop. Oh my gosh, did you guys just see that? Oh, be careful, baby. Look what he's doing. He did that all by himself. Gosh, we've got to lower your, your bed. It's a crib in his room. Like, you can't leave him in there alone right now. Here he goes, folks. Oh, oh, oh. A little malfunction there. A little malfunction there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you can't use mommy. That's cheating. Oh gosh, folks. Get lined up. Get lined up. Gosh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, Dad's going to be excited. Who knew that two decades later, this Atari box would come in handy? <laughs> You don't even know what it is. <laughs> you can do it. You're so strong. That's who you are, buddy. You're the kind of guy that can do things like this. There's lots of other places that would be better to have learned this. The Atari box probably was not top of the list. Oh, gosh. So you gotta see what I can do. I'm so strong. So powerful. Mommy and Daddy prayed for a strong boy. I'm also a phenomenal vlogger, as you can tell. It's 
supposed to be in here buying coffee for Father's Day for my dad's gift, but check that out. I'm looking at the kid stuff. I want to uh, see all kinds of cool stuff that they have for his room when he gets a little older. What word did you come up with? Oh. oh, I was like, why are you shining a light on my face? And it's not, I didn't make a word. I combined two words. And I got a light in your face because we're trying to watch a movie. I posted because... my first cake baking thing and I was going to call it Yummy Monday and I was like, that's really long. I want to post them every weekend. I want it to be cute, but I don't want it to be like, well anyway, so I decided to call it, it Yum Day instead of Yummy Monday. Why aren't you looking at the camera? Because it's really bright. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a light right It is. The face. light is so bright. <laughs> ah! It burns. <laughs> it burns my retinas. I don't like it. So, I'm going to call so it. So, she came up with... Yum, Yum day. day. It's uploading. But, anyway, that's... I like it. You know, and it's probably because Monday gets poop. It gets nothing. No. You know, like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, they get some good stuff. Wednesday's hump day. Friday clearly is an awesome day. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah, Thursday, Thursday is throwback almost, Thursday. Yeah, throwback Thursday. What's Tuesday? Nothing really. I don't know. You have to look I'll it work up. on it. I'll work on Tuesday. Anyway, yum day Monday. Yum day Monday. You heard it here first, people. Yum day Monday. <laughs> In the interrogation room. <laughs> That's right. Where were you? Where were you when Yum Day Monday first started? Being interrogated by my husband in his man cave. That's right. So June 9th it was a Monday. Yeah. It was 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. The babies was sleeping. You think you think this word's just gonna be like Every everybody's gonna look forward to Yum Day? Oh gosh. Maybe. <laughs> So bright on the first Hashtag yum day. Hashtag Yum Day. People, when they celebrate Yum Day, they'll. And Interrogation Day. Yeah, part of all celebrating right. it, though, is to turn on all the lights in your face. <laughs> you enjoy your food. Back.